Hey old guys, guy 100 here and welcome to this cool paint job showcase. I wanted, I found this paint job and I'm naming it After Burn Blue and I'm going to show you how to get it because I really like it on my car even though most of my th friends think it's ugly and we're going to try it on some mat as well. So here it is, it's this really nice ultra blue on a carbonetta red is what this paint job is and I like it because it's like, you know when you see the uh, jets in GTA and the fire like a uh, burst of flame comes out of the back that powers the jet and it's like it morphs from a purple to an ultra blue to a yellow well I couldn't get the yellow but I got this really nice ultra blue slash purple slash red color on my Zantorno and so far it only looks good on the Zantorno because like the Zantorno has all these nice curves and features to it that just make the color pop out and I really really like it and so I'm just gonna go through all the possibilities that you could do to this car, um, first of all, I'm just gonna go into metallic and I'm gonna set the secondary back from ultra blue to the normal that I had it on, which is carbonetta red, so that it really gives the full effect of this color uh, coming out on the car. And I'll do like a little sunspot showcase outside of Los Santos after I go through all these. So, my friend James suggested that I could do it on um, carbonetta, uh, not metallic, but uh, red as in the um, classic, why am I stumbling for that? So classic carbonate red, and to put the pearlescent you just go down, you put your classic on, you go down, and you scroll all the way through or somewhat of the way through the metallic, then you back out, you go to plate, you buy the blue on white, or you buy whatever plate you want, and you go back, and then you can put your pearlescent on, and you could scroll all the way up to that ultra blue, and you could get that, which is basically, I don't really notice a difference between the metallics, except it kind of, I kind of think that the metallic shines a little bit brighter. Now we could also try um, it on red like this, but the carbonate of red is darker and I think that's what supports this ultra blue, um, afterburn blue look. So let's just try it out. Let's see how it looks. So as you can see, like, already certain colors aren't popping as well, but once we get to blue, blue doesn't pop as well, you kind of get this nice kind of pink to your matte red car, which I guess is alright if you're interested in this color, it looks pretty nice too, but I really prefer that metallic um, carbonate of red and secondary being the ultra blue, because it really, it just fully makes the color pop out 100%. I love it on this car. I've yet to put on the T20 as well, just to see how it pops. And when I do, I will surely send you... This is another good one, the carbonate of red and just blue, which gives a nice purple. But we're just going to go to race in blue and put the afterburn blue on, and then we're going to go to secondary, and we're going to put the um, ultra blue on to give it that pop. Here we go. Let's... Ultra blue... And you can already see, it kind of looks like Tronny. Like in the dark, this car, it's black. It's black, and all you could see is that little blue pop from it, and it really looks cool. So here we go, here's a little outer showcase. I want to get my crew color, my crew uh, emblem off though. So there we go. And then I have my Saints Row purple crew color on there, which adds to that purpley uh, gradient from the color. So yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy this color showcase. Remember to leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe for more awesome videos like this one. I'm on the road to 1000 subs. Show your support. Hope you have a fantabulous day and I'll see you in the next video.